All right, so this is going to be the process of converting a lead into a job and then turning that job and, and doing all the steps that you need to do with that uh, once you've got it. So first thing, obviously, open the lead. Uh, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to um, take a look at this and make sure we've got all of our information. Uh, this all looks good. We don't have a lead source um, because I didn't do the estimate. I'm not sure who the lead source is, but um, something that could could probably be easily added later. Um, going to uh, yep, we don't have a source there. So we're going to convert to job. Um, we have a approved proposal. So convert to job, new job from template. Uh, actually going to put the date as um, yesterday. Um, we're going to do painting and create new job and continue. Um, this was an exterior. Um, we've got uh, the new start date actually being next Friday um, for the for the team meeting process and, and introducing a new job there. We've got choose new template here. So that's the next step. Uh, what we want to choose is a homeowner exterior. There's a couple different, obviously, templates you can choose there, but we'll choose the homeowner exterior because this is an exterior. Um, you've got all your kind of check boxes here. Those are all going to be pretty standard. Um, and, and you're typically going to want to include those. Um, there may be some circumstances, and I'm, I'm going to note those, um, where you might want to just check these and make sure they're right. But for now, this looks good, so we'll save. Um, of course, this copied the contract price from the approved proposal. Uh, so it says $6,042, so that looks good. Um, got the address here people's information, their phone number. Um, it's going to copy the proposals. It's going to copy the proposal files. So that, that was going to be the photos, any other documents, um, any other files that you have, photos. You can select if you want to show the owner, show subs, videos, same thing. Um, so we're going to save. This is all looks good. Um, we're going to project manager. Um, Jacob was the one that booked the job, so he will be included in that. And we've got Jay, who is our project manager. Um, then we're going to have internal notes, and that's going to be your chance to add things like um, quantities on paint, um, if you have anything specific, um, if you have an arrangement that there's going to be some sort of a discount, um, if you're thinking they might need to do a change order at some point. Um, those are all going to be kind of things that you add there. Um, this is going to require you to fill out the paint type um, and referred by or repeat. Right now we're going to leave that as NA and we're also going to leave this as NA. Um, so then you're going to go ahead and save. Um, it's letting us know that project managers have been granted viewing access and will receive notifications for this job. Okay. Uh, update viewing permissions, of course. Yes. Okay, so that's good. Uh, the next step would be to come in and go on the owner tab that I clicked on there. Um, and you're going to come down to the middle here and you've got owner activation. Uh, this is their access method, so we're going to go ahead and email invite. Um, if there's anything else, um, such as uh, allowing credit cards, um, checks, anything like that, um, we need to change that. So for now, we're going to change this to no. That's going to be kind of typical, um, unless for some reason we know something different. Um, once I save this, this is actually going to send an invite to these homeowners to activate on Builder Trend. So Ron's going to see an email that says, Hey Ron, you know, thanks for choosing Ace of Diamonds. Please activate on Builder Trend. It's a great software that you can use to 
get updates, um, view invoices, warranty, etc. So we save that. That automatically sends. You don't have to do anything. Um, and you can see here activation status pending. Um, and that'll stay that way until he activates. Um, so this is all good. Next thing we want to do is go ahead and close this window. Um, we're going to go back to our summary. Um, and as long as you've allowed yourself to be the, the person viewing the job, um, if you follow the steps properly, then you can look and, and see that Ron Schumann's in here. Um, you want to make sure, first of all, that your documents came over. Um, so we have an approved proposal. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at that and a new page just to make sure. Um, obviously, this all looks good. Um, homeowners kind of approved everything. Um, we've got a duration body emerald trim option here. So we're going to have to make sure that our project manager really knows that and has specific information regarding what's going to be duration, what's going to be emerald. Uh, and then the next thing is going to be to come into photos. Um, we want to look at our photos and just make sure all of our photos and, and the writing that we had for those came over. Um, and everything that we wanted for that looks good. So, um, of course, I wasn't on this estimate. Um, I just know that it's a book job, and so this is just for training purposes. It looks like we've got some duplicates, um, so we're probably going to want to clean that up. Um, and then we've got a lot of notes about hail damage um, and that sort of thing. So, um, obviously, we would want to get more specific in terms of, you know, what's being painted, what, that sort of thing for our project manager there. Uh, so that looks good. The next step is to come to the schedule. Um, right now you can see the schedules offline and we want to leave it that way um, until we know we kind of have it for the way that we want it. Um, so I came to this Gantt tab um, and you can see over here the Gantt, um, this has a few steps. So it has sales agent, contract, deposit. Um, I know the deposit's pending um, so that's going to be it. Go ahead and, and left that way. Um, we know that the documents, those look good. So we'll go ahead and, and mark those completed. Um, cust customer job form right now, that would be the internal notes. Um, we've got a couple other areas that we ask for, for information there. So, um, be on the lookout for that. Um, sales agent job transfer meeting. So that's going to be a discussion between, you know, you booking the job and the, the project manager in terms of what the job all entails. Um, then we've got uh, the production manager creating the work order. Um, and then a couple other steps that kind of need to happen along the way that, that are more involved with the office manager and the production manager. And we've got this long phase of customer office approvals and colors. Um, so this is a to-do that actually gets signed, assigned to our customer um, involving the colors and what they need to do um, to get ready for this job to be able to start. Um, we have that as kind of a long time period there. And the reason being is that we want the um, we want this to just kind of be the lag time between when the job is, is booked and when it actually starts. Um, so right now we've got um, Ron's project starting in this week of May. Um, if we wanted it to start sooner, what we would actually need to do is make the lag time on this come smaller. And then watch when I do that, everything kind of moves on this end to, to the actual start date. And so this is kind of where you want to be able to drag that um, to kind of adjust your, your markers of when that's actually going to start. So if I make this schedule on online by clicking schedule offline, um, 
we're going to continue anyway because the conflicts this is important do not notify it's going to send 50 notifications to people just go ahead and do not notify um, okay um, then uh, just one condition with that I would notify someone if uh, it's a change after the fact um, what you'll see now is now that I can't change this um, since I made the calendar online I'm not able to make any changes if I want to change anything I have to click schedule is online make it offline continue um, but now I can change it again um, so now it's going to be starting on, we'll make it start on the Monday, um, the week of the 19th, which the week start dates are, are the Sunday, um, if you look at it. And so, um, so this is, and it's in gray because we're not actually starting. So this job is actually scheduled to start on the 20th of May currently. Um, I'm going to go ahead and leave this calendar offline because I don't know when they actually discuss starting. Um, but that's kind of everything that you need to know. Um, in terms of anything else, um, uh, if you have any any other um, information that you feel like anybody needs, you can easily create a to-do. Um, you can easily create a, a daily log. Um, and that's going to be kind of universally seen throughout the system um, if you've got something important about the job that you feel like everyone needs to know about. Um, so that's kind of it. Um, yeah, so best of luck with this.